Good evening and welcome to yet another episode of Beating COVID-19. Today on COVID news, we are going to discuss something very interesting, a country with zero deaths. Yes, zero deaths. And a country whose story and substance of how they manage their COVID transmission rate and their COVID tracking has brought them and made them to be a success story in this world. And no, it's not Taiwan, it's not New Zealand, it's not Australia, it's not a country that you know or hear or know much about. And that country actually borders China. It's the nation of Vietnam. Vietnam is known for its uh, Rambo and Sylvester Stallone movies as well as the famous movie Good Morning Vietnam. But Vietnam has become an example of how to manage a pandemic in a country. This, the information is found in ourworldindata.org and I will post the story in the description below quoting a few things. Now, let's start. If your country has reported a little more than 300 cases and zero deaths in the last four months of the COVID pandemic, then there is something that you are doing right. And I read an introduction. Although Vietnam reported its first case of COVID-19 on 23rd of January 2020, it reported only a little more than 300 cases and zero deaths over the following four months. This early success has been attributed to several key factors, including a well-developed public health system, a strong central government, and a proactive containment strategy based on comprehensive testing, tracing, and quarantining. Lessons from Vietnam, Vietnam's early successful or successful early detection and containment strategy are worth examining in detail so other nations, other countries may apply them to their own responses. Detection. Vietnam has taken a targeted approach to testing, scaling up testing in areas with community transmission and conducting third degree contact tracing for each positive case. Containment. As a result of its detection process, hundreds of thousands of people, including international travelers and those who have close contact with people who tested positive, were placed in quarantine centers run by the government, which greatly reduced the transmission at both household and community levels. Hotspots with demonstrated community transmission were locked down immediately and the government communicated frequently with citizens to keep them informed and involved, a public, and involved in the public health response. One of the reasons Vietnam was able to act so quickly is that the country experienced the SARS in 2003 and the human cases of Asian avian influenza both in 2004 and 2010. Therefore, Vietnam had both the experience and infrastructure to take appropriate action as the COVID-19 pandemic continues to unfold and Vietnam, as the COVID-19 pandemic continues to unfold and Vietnam relaxes many of its restrictions, moni monitoring how the case level change and studying the reasons for those changes will be particularly important. And as you can see, there is great information that has been collated on the article that I will put below. It is good news for countries which don't have large budgets, which don't have immense resources, to be able to adopt and adapt many of the strategies that Vietnam has used to beat COVID-19 in that country. It's important to note that because of their immediate quick actions, the spread has been curtailed. And as of the time of me mentioning, they have zero deaths. Let me repeat, they have zero deaths and only a few over 300 cases. Yes, so while we sit and wait for the end of the week to know our fate, it's good to know that certain countries have already been successful with policies and se strong centrality in government and an ability to do and deliver what they promise and state. 
in this article you will find the material and information you need to know about the success of Vietnam and the site our world in data provides a very concise picture of up to the moment reporting and graphing of all the activities they have been doing I urge you to read the article that is attached read it well understand it get involved in the data be a reader don't just be a watcher so thank you very much have a good night i wish you all a great day tomorrow and that we can meet up again while we are beating covid 19 with the covid 19 news today was about vietnam tomorrow will be something else thank you god bless take care